okay so a company's name is abc limited you will have a phone number packs and all these things so that is what we will do next so for setting up company we need to go to the setup menu click on setup then go to company profile and then go to company information so in the company information as you can see right now the organization name is undefined so you can click on edit and define your company's name let's say ABC limited is the name of your company if there's a phone number fax number street city whatever you want to put in case you want to uh, provide that information right so this is the basic information of your company then the locale settings of your company locale settings means set up the currency in which your company deals in the time zone and the language so yeah uses US currency you want to use or you want to use Malaysian currency or Pakistani currency so which currency you want to use you will have to select that right time zone you have to select which time zone your company operates in okay and these are all useful information so wherever there is a you know a uh, currency transaction wherever you want to store information about currency it will take the currency symbol from what you have defined here so same way if there is anything to do with time it will consider the specific time in case uh, you have selected this okay and language also you have to select which language you want to deal into you want uh, french or russian or english right so salesforce is something which is uh, you know not being used only by uh, countries which uh, speak uh, english right it is being used by other uh, countries also so for that they have provided different languages for language and all this uh, so this is the first kind of setup that you do for your company so create uh, you know once you log in into it do your personal setting then go to the company setup and uh, you know put the name of the company and do the locale setting for the company the currency that you want to use the time zone that you want to use and the language that you want to use for your company okay the next thing that you do set here is and a company profile is your fiscal year uh, fiscal year is the financial year your company's financial year right why do we need to set, uh, set the financial year here in Salesforce? Because uh, that is something which will help you do reportings properly. So we are not getting into reporting right now, but uh, you know, at a later point of time when we get into reporting and stuff, when we start doing reporting, then you will realize that uh, for that reporting purpose, it's good if we define the fiscal year correctly for the company. That will help you do the reporting in a proper manner okay so fiscal year thing is there you can define your company's fiscal year okay most of the times companies do have a fiscal year of uh, four quarters three months per quarter that is uh, uh, you know the basic kind of a fiscal year fiscal year is financial year right so most of the times uh, companies follow a four quarter financial year where every quarter is of three months right so in case you have that kind of a financial year then you should select standard fiscal year okay and define the start month so sometimes it is in april sometimes it is in october so whatever is your financial year thing just define that this is something very helpful in reporting uh, then we have a custom fiscal year as well right so this custom fiscal year is you know, some companies follow a different type of fiscal year where uh, they have a 13 weeks quarter so uh, instead of using a three months quarter they use a 13 weeks quarter in case you have that kind of a financial year then use a custom fiscal year and then go and define your custom fiscal year but till that time you uh, you know are not aware of 
for that complex fiscal year thing keep it on the standard fiscal year most of the companies follow a standard fiscal year and you should keep it here and not make it custom fiscal year because this custom fiscal year is irreversible so once you have made you know converted standard into custom you cannot come back to standard so that is thing so till the time we are not very sure that your company requires a custom fiscal year don't change it to that thing okay then business hours for company information the next information that you will have to put is the business hours now why do we need to put the business hours business hours is basically the time when the company or the business operates okay so uh, for business hours you can uh, you know define your working hours for any particular team now if you are thinking that why should we put that thing here why should we put our company's business hours in this sales force if you define the business hours correctly that will help you uh, automate some of the things like escalations let's say there is a customer support team and they work uh, on a certain uh, sla right and uh, there is a rule that you want to define that anything which is not any uh, customer query or any customer case which is not resolved in 10 hours should be escalated right so that auto escalation thing can be done if you define business hours properly because for that calculation uh, purpose it should just use the business hours not all the hours right so those 10 hours should be calculated out of the business hours your working hours right so that is the reason why business hours need to be defined here and holidays so holidays again you might be thinking why do we need to put holidays here so no other logic just that holidays are the days when the business hours are suspended so for any holiday it can be saturday or sunday your business hours should not be counted for saturday sunday right otherwise you will get all the escalations on saturday so a holiday means your team is not working so there should not be escalations or there should not be calculation of those business hours on those days right so for that reason we can define holidays here so if you define a holiday you can see holidays are dates and time at which business hours are suspended so the business hours are suspended for your holidays okay so clear on this Now tell me if we have any question. So what we have done today, today we just uh, you know, learned about different additions, then we created our own login, then we just uh, had a look onto the interface, we understood that there are there is a list of applications, there is a setup menu and there is a my settings menu, right? And we have also learned how to go and make changes to my personal settings and we have uh, learned how to make changes to my company's profile right so in the company basically we have learned putting the basic information like name address phone fax we have learned how to change the locale settings like currency time zone language we have learned how to put the fiscal year or the financial year for the company so that it can be used in reporting that reporting part we will come a little later uh, in this course but I just wanted to, you to understand how that fiscal year can be set for the company uh, we talked about the business hours right so your business hours are the timings when your, your team works and this is something which will help you do auto escalations so again how that will be done that is something which we will talk a little later and your holidays so holidays are the days when the business hours are suspended right Tell me if we have any questions here so far or if we are clear on this.